Hi, welcome to Cajun Toy Review. Do a little news update, a little quick uh, talk about the Hasbro Pulse Marvel Legends live stream that happened today. Uh, there was a bunch of cool announcements on there that happened uh, for new figures that are coming out, plus a whole new wave of figures. So, uh, we'll talk about that and a little bit of update. Uh, talk about Galactus again. And uh, so, let's get started. So, the first thing they kind of showed, uh, we'll talk about, is they have a What If Hydra Stomper. Now this is a huge, uh, almost looks like a kind of Hulkbuster-ish kind of figure. This is basically going to be featured in um, the What If series where Peggy Carter is Captain America. And uh, from the trailer and what they showed, she can ride on the back of it and stuff like that. This is a really big figure. Uh, they com actually compared him to the old uh, Hulk Builder, Hulkbuster Builder figure, uh, also the Hulkbuster from the two-pack with the Hulk. And that is a really big figure by itself. So. Uh, really good sense of scale that we're going to be getting a nice solid figure here. Uh, that one's going to be at a pre-order tomorrow at 1 p.m. So um, if you want, jump on that. Uh, definitely, definitely going to be a great figure for some uh, cool dioramas and some shots. Uh, we also saw the whole entire wave for our What If series that's going to be coming out, and um, this. It's a re it's some really good figures in this wave and stuff like that. Uh, the build -a figure is the Watcher, uh, which is amazing. People have been wanting an, a new Watcher figure for quite some time now. For us to get that uh, finally is really cool. Now the figures um, they do look a little bit different because we have MCU figures uh, in Marvel Legends and we have you know uh, comic figures in Marvel Legends and Gamerverse. So now we're getting a one if and these are very kind of like animated cell shaded. Uh, figures so um some people might not like it um I, I like it not every single one of them is like that sylvie from loki is part of this wave and she doesn't look that way but um some like more than others like uh, t'challa star lord looks very cartoony um but it just it really depends i guess when, I'm, um, when we get the actual in hands and some some real product shots we'll see but the wave consists of uh t'challa as star lord uh he comes with uh the Watcher's head uh, looks like he has uh, the Store Lord helmet and the two guns. Really good looking little figure. We have uh, the Heist Nebula, which I'm not familiar with that storyline is going to be, but it's Nebula with a big blonde wig. She comes with uh, the Watcher's uh, cape and maybe something else. Can we see? And then we have uh, Captain Carter. Pay Carter is Captain America. She has her shield stuff like that. That's a really good looking figure. I like it a lot. Um, <clears throat> Then we have Spider Zombie Hunter or Spider Man, and this is a uh, animated looking character, associated character, but it's really good likeness of uh, Tom Holland and stuff like that. Um, uh, you know, if this is going to be part of something else, it's really, really a good looking figure. Though. I like it a lot. Um, of course, with Spider Man, you know, even without the, you know, just put the mask on, and it's we got so many different Spider Man, but uh, I do like the color scheme and that far from home kind of uh, homecoming with the web shooters and stuff, the suit, the Stark suit, it looks really good. <clears throat> uh, we have our Sylvie from Loki. This one has been shown a few times, so that this one comes with the Watcher's cape and stuff like that as well. But uh, she's a really good figure. I can't wait to get my hands on that one and talk about it. We have a zombie Captain America. Uh, doesn't look like this one. This one might be um, the one figure that doesn't come with a builder figure piece from looking at it and stuff like that. Usually sometimes it happens with the waves. That looks like it might be the one, but regardless, it's a great looking figure. The shield is really bloody, so that can be really cool for a U.S. agent if you want to do some stuff with that. And then lastly, we have a uh, the Doctor Strange Supreme, and um, I'm not, you know, like I I know the what if stuff's coming. I'm not sh sh familiar with every storyline. It's gonna kind of go blind into a little bit, but I'm um, just guessing. Doctor Strange is something's wrong with him. His skin color is kind of off. I mean, the whole everything the colors are all different. So we'll I'll learn. You might already know what's going on with him but he has a little uh energy hand like the little power hand uh doing casting hand like he had on him and i'm sure i'm drawing blank on what it was called but uh that was like with the three pack with uh thanos and uh, iron man we've seen before but uh yeah so like um really 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 good looking wave like i said it just really depends if how much that cell shading if it's if it's too much or too little and when we'll see him Compared to other figures, we'll get, like I said, a better idea. Uh, other things that also announced and stuff, that we're going to be getting a um, a Hand Ninja. This is going to be a, a black or a darkish gray version of the Hand Ninja. 
That's what it looks like a different sword, possibly, but not all the same weapons as their other hand ninja. But these are basically gonna be a troop builder, kind of like the um, the single hydra soldiers and the aim soldiers and the uh, hellfire goons that we got. So um, if you want to army build some of those, that's a nice way to get those. Um, also, we're gonna be getting the uh, Tigra, so a retro version of Tigra. This figure looks really, really good. Uh, she's got the, the head swap, different hands for that, but yeah. Uh, just a really good figure. Look, I'm excited for that one. That one's also going to be pre-ordered tomorrow. This one is going to be a fan club exclusive, so this one's going to go quick. Uh, we also got a new Marvel's Vulture coming out. For This is the Vulture from uh, Homecoming that came out um, a couple years ago. This was the builder figure from that. And it's a really nice builder figure. It's a very big builder figure. Um, I really, really like it. It's one of the ones I have. Uh, but this is a repaint. And the color scheme looks really, really good. I love the blue and the greens that they did on it. Like the blues on the uh, on the turbines and stuff looks really, really awesome. He has a new head sculpt, and he comes with some accessories. Like he didn't have weapons on the previous, and his feet look like they've been changed. But this one will be a Target exclusive. So if you missed out on the Vulture or you just want to get a new version of him, that's going to be something to look out for. Um, we also have a. Uh, binary Captain Marvel. Uh, this is going to be a Walgreens exclusive in America, EB Games store in uh, Canada. Now this, they said, is the last of the cosmic figures that we're doing from Walgreens. So we have seen uh, Nova and uh, shoot, somebody else. Drawing blank. Um, but yeah, this is the last for that. So we'll start like a new wave. They kind of run them in themes. So we had like the Fantastic, we had like some X-Men figures uh, with like Emma Frost and uh, Moonstone. Um, and now we're starting, we, then we had like the Fantastic Four wave before that, and now we're starting to see, uh, these cosmic figures, so, uh, we'll see what they do next. Uh, it'd be really interesting to see where they go with that. So I think that's really about it, um, for the stuff that they showed for figures coming out. Uh, the other thing is for, like, Galactus. Now, Galactus, uh, they did an update for that. They, uh, announced basically the first two... Uh, tiers is, is going to be a uh, Firestar and, and a Silver Surfer. They have shown the outlines for them. They haven't shown the figures yet, but um, they're really pushing it because they're about close to ten thousand, but it needs fourteen thousand backers, and we're not there yet. Um, they're going to start trying to show more to get more people into it. Some people are waiting for the last minute to see, uh, or some people are still on the fence. Now it is a jump. So one thing about it, it is a jump. So like for uh, Unicron, it was like eight thousand backers. The Cell Barge is only five thousand. Uh, the Razor Crest was 6,000. The Sentinel was only 6,000. So you know, there's a huge jump for, for Galactus to be 14,000 backers. So uh, it might seem like it's it's going slower, but it's actually not bad. So um, it's really ambitious. We have a picture here of uh, Galactus compared to the Sentinel, which uh, hopefully is shipping very, very soon. And uh, it looks really, really awesome. I uh, can't wait to get my hands on both. But... Um, that's really about it. I'll put some links in there, guys, for you if you want to pre-order and stuff like that. You know, it was just a quick little news, guys, kind of fill you in. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like uh, the video, drop a like. Catch you in the next video.